Hey there everybody, I'm Sigurd Campos and today I'm going to do something a little bit different instead of telling you a story or some analysis about stuff I'm going to tell you what my ideal pitching rotation for retired players and active players would look like So let's start off with retired players, of course Number one, for me the greatest player in the history of the game Three-time Cy Young winner, 1963, 65 and 66 uh, career ERA of 2.76, I'm talking about Sanford Koufax, better know as Sandy Koufax. This dude was a beast, to me the greatest player in the history of the game, had a hard fastball, a nasty curveball, and of course he's a Dodgers legend, number 32, youngest player in the history of the Hall of Fame, and yeah, there you have it, Sandy Koufax, of course, number one. Number two, I'm going to go with the pitcher with the most Cy Young Awards without being a cheating piece of crap. And, of course, I'm talking about Randall David Johnson. Randy Johnson, a five-time Cy Young Award winner. He won the Cy Young in 1995. And from 1999 to 2002, one of only two pitchers in the history of the game to win four Cy Young Awards in a row. Career array of 3.31. Of course, he won the World Series in 2001 with the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks against the New York Yankees. So that's my second starter. My third starter, I'm going to switch things up completely. And after pitching Randy Johnson and Sandy Koufax, two of the greatest power pitchers of all time, I'm going to go with one of the greatest surgeon pitchers of all time, a pinpoint accuracy with not hard stuff. Uh, I'm talking about a guy with a 3.20 ERA in his career, four-time Cy Young winner, Greg Maddox. He won the Cy Young Award from 1992 to 1995, together with Randy Johnson, the only pitcher to win the Cy Young Award four times in a row. So, that's my number three starter, Greg Maddox. Now, let's talk about one of my favorite pitchers in the game, a guy who knew how positional privileges work, that he knew that as a pitcher, if you want to hit someone, hit them doesn't matter because you're the pitcher and you have the right to do it and I'm talking about Bob Gibson Bob Gibson one of my favorite pitchers of all time he won Cy Young Award in 1968 and 1970 of course 1968 one of the greatest pitching seasons in the history of the game arguably the greatest pitching season in the history of the game has the record for the lowest ERA in the modern era in a single season and his career ERA is not too high either he's got a 292 ERA in his career, of course, Bob Gibson, what a pitcher, one of my favorite of all time. And number five, closing things out, another four-time Cy Young winner, together with um, Steve, uh, with Greg Maddox, I'm talking about lefty Steve Carlton. He played for the Cardinals, he played for the Phillies, of course. He had a career ERA of 322, and he won the Cy Young Award four times. Here's a weird thing about um, Steve Carlton. He's the only pitcher to win the Cy Young Award four more times without winning consecutive awards. He won it in 72, 77, 80, and 82, which is pretty weird, but also pretty interesting. And I consider him to be one of the greatest players of all time. Steve Carlton, of course, closing out the rotation with a 322 ERA. So that's my ideal rotation for retired players. Now let's talk about active guys. Uh, my ideal rotation for active pitchers, and I'm going to tell you, of course, their last year ERA. I'm going to start things off with who I think is the greatest player in the world right now. Mets number 48, Jacob deGrom. The guy won the Cy Young Award in 2018 with a 1.7 ERA. And, of course, in 2018 with a 2.43 ERA. He was impressive last year. And, of course, in 2018, one of the greatest pitching seasons of all time. Uh, and number two, I'm gonna pick my favorite player in the world. I'm talking about this freaking psychopath. This guy who had a 292 ERA last year. He's a three-time Cy Young winner in 2013, 2016, and 17. He has been a finalist four years in a row. And of course, I'm talking about the guy with different colored eyes, Max Scherzer. This dude is crazy, he's an animal, he's a beast, and it would be an interesting psychological contract with, uh, contrast with Jacob deGrom, because Jacob deGrom is like all business. He goes out there, he's not that intense. He throws hard, but he's not intense. And then you have Max Scherzer, who just, uh, I mean, if he strikes you out or kills you, uh, it's, it's like the same thing for him. I mean, he's an animal, he's a beast, he's crazy. And I love Max Scherzer. He's one of the most entertaining pitchers in the game. Absolutely, he's must-watch TV every fifth day. So at number three, I'm gonna go with 
who should have won the Cy Young Award in the American League last year for some people. I don't personally agree with that. I think it was the right call to pick Verlander. But I still think this guy is better than Verlander. I think it's more entertaining. I think he he just left the Astros, so that makes him makes me respect him a little bit more because the Astros are cheaters. They suck, screw the Astros, um, strip them of the 2017 title. And, of course, I'm talking about the Coltrane, Garrett Cole. He had a 2.5 OERA last season, led the majors in strikeouts. He had an insane strikeout ratio last year. And, of course, he won 20 games. So, um, I mean, wins are overrated. They don't matter. But he was part of a good team, and he pitched to win ball games. Uh, of course, Garrett Cole, 250 ERA. He's going to be my number three starter. And at number four, here's an interesting pick. This guy, I think, should have been a Cy Young finalist instead of Max Scherzer in 2019. He had a 2.75 ERA. Max Scherzer had 2.92. Okay. I'm talking about Cardinals starting pitcher Jack Clarity. Jack Clarity is an animal. He is really good. He's got nasty stuff. That dude is very, very good. And he's also a smart pitcher, you know. He's not just talent. He's not just talent and dumb like Max Scherzer. Um... He is a brilliant pitcher. He's genius. And he's also very talented. I think he is a future Cy Young. Um, he got robbed of, of a finalist spot last year. Of course, the Grom would have won either way, but uh, he should have been a finalist. Uh, Jack Flaherty, number four. He's a beast. He's a great, great pitcher. I love watching him play. And that's my number four pick. And at number five, a guy who had a 3.26 ERA last year. However, this dude's future, I mean, it's so bright. First of all, he pitches for the Dodgers, which is already pretty good for a pitcher. You know, they're the team with the most Cy Young awards. And you have Walker Bueller. The dude had a 3.26 ERA. Okay, yeah, that's kind of high. But next year, give him some time. Give Walker Bueller some time. A couple of years. He's going to turn into one of the biggest pitchers in baseball. He's going to turn into a superstar. And he's going to be the Dodgers' next ace. The guy to replace the man, the legend, Clayton Kershaw. And that's why I picked Walker Buehler instead of Kershaw. I could have picked Kershaw, but I went with Buehler because... I mean, plus, he's so entertaining. I mean, his stuff is just nasty. I mean, he's careful. He's filthy that four seam fastball coming at you hard he's got a change up i mean the guy is brilliant he's an amazing pitcher i love walker bueller and that is my ideal starting rotation for active pitchers so there you have it that's going to do it for today hope you like comment share the video subscribe and of course tell me what do you think about these rotations tell me what your rotation uh would look like your perfect rotation would look like uh, both for active players or retired players, whatever you choose. And, um, of course, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.